Hello YouTube, JRS10510 here with another Toy Z for you guys, and today it is on the Toys R Us exclusive Ben 10 Omniverse 4 Arms 5 pack, which included every 4 Arms figure ever released, other than the Haywire ones, or the 4 Arms figures that were bigger than 4 inch figures, because all of these are 4 inch figures. Anyway, the set included Omni 4 Arms, Gorvin, Forearms version 2, Manny, and the original forearms. This set did and also include two that may be very hard to find, as like Gorvin and um, <coughs> um, the original forearms, and one that was you not could find in America unless you bought this set, and that was a Manny. Um, Omni Forearms just came out, so he'll probably be easy to find, and I don't know, but he's at my local Toys R Us, so he still probably is able to be found. It is Ultimate Alien Forearms. So now let's go over the boxing. In the back here, we have a poster. Um, we get a nice look at the figures. This is set one of two. I only sold that Toys R Us logo. Um, sorry, I was just adjusting the lighting. Um, right here you have the names, Omniforms, Gorvin, Forearms Version 2, Mini, Forearms. Right here we have the Benton Omniverse logo, a warning right here. On the bottom, we have a picture of the figures. We have Gorvin, for Forearms Version 2, Omniforms, Manny, and Forearms. This picture is a picture typo or whatever because that is not the figure and that cannot be the pose of it. Anyway we have Cartoon Network, Bandai, Four and Up, Benton Omniverse, now let's go to the back. Sorry guys. Um set one set nine six three five eight it's Omni Forearms, Gorvin, Forearms Version 2, Forearms and Manning. Set two 96359. It includes Asmith, Haywire Eedle, Haywire Lone Star, Haywire Clockwork, Haywire Haywire Wrath. I have all of these figures in this set. I just don't have the Haywires. Um Ben 10 Omniverse. Um here's some barcode thing. Logos. Here we get a look at the um younger Ben. We don't get a look at 16-year-old Ben, but we get a look at older Ben. Um, so yeah, here's the back. So anyway, guys, let's get this set opened and reviewed, and we will be starting with the original forearms. So let's begin with articulation. His head does turn 360 degrees. His top arms turn 360 degrees, and they do bend at the elbow joints. Um, his bottom arms do turn 360 degrees, but they are rendered by his um top arms. But his hands do turn 360 degrees. Bottom hands. His Omni trick symbol is right here. Just wanted to see that. Um, his legs go forward and back and bend at the knee joints. This one's very new, so, um, yeah. It's not the newest figure. I was just saying the figure I have right here is new, so it's a little harder to bend him and stuff. Um, now we can go over detail. In the original series, he did have yellow eyes. Like I said, his Omnitrix symbol is right here, and it was gray and white back then. He has sort of like the younger Ben shirt. Um, he's got the hairs, muscles. I think this may be one of the tallest four-inch figures so that are the four-inch figures. Um, so yeah, let's move on to... And here's Gorvin. So, we will begin with articulation. His head does turn 360 degrees, but kind of does not have a neck. So his head does, when it turns, turns like that. So it was the Grandpa Max figure and a couple other figures. His arms turn 360 degrees, the top. Um, his bottom 
would turn 360 degrees, but they are rendered by his um, top arms. His legs go forward and back, mend at the knee joints. Pretty much that's it for his articulation. Now we can go over detail. Um, he does have the yellow eyes like the original forms figure. His plumber's badge is on his um, right breast. Um, he has like the green suit. Uh, I thought this could be a form when I was like when this first came out. He was featured in the video game, but when this fir the figure first came out, I would used to play with him and use him as a forearms figure, um, like ultimate forearms or something. <laughs> but yeah, I was just being creative. Um, he's like the fattest forearms ever, probably that figure that was ever sold and seen on Ben 10. He has the hairs, like the biker gloves, all the forearms, most of them do. Um, yeah, I like this figure. He looks almost like him, except he's fatter, and yeah. So let's move on to forearms version 2. So we'll begin with articulation, as in most of the videos we do. Um, his head does turn 360 degrees. His top arm turns 360 degrees, and it bends at the elbow joint. His bottom arms would turn 360 degrees, but like most figures of uh, forearms, he is rendered by the top arms. His leg goes forward and back, and but they bend at the knee joints. So now we can go over detail. It has like this Japanese hero look. Um, I'd say that because of his ponytail. I much don't like the ponytail because it's sticking out, but Bandai had to do it since it would be cart most likely to be cartoon cartoon accurate. Um, I could have they could have probably missed. Um, I don't know. Anyway, he has green eyes now, like most of Ben's aliens. His Omnitrix symbol is on his chest, like most of Ben's aliens as well. He has like the tights. The metal wristbands, metal wrists, yeah, metal footbands or whatever. He has the hair, the strap. Um, it kind of looked like an X Men to me because of the X thing, but not that much. His number is on the back, and I guess we can move on to. And here is Manny. Now I did use silly putty to make help him stand. Because it was a little bit harder to make him stand. Now, before I start with his articulation, I would like to say he was a, a, um, a UK exclusive figure. So, um, so was Helen. I guess she was like his girlfriend or something. Um, so, anyway, we can start with articulation. We'll take him off. His head does turn 360 degrees. His top arm turns 360 degrees and bend at the elbow joints. His bo bottom arms would turn 360 degrees. Sorry, this gun is a little loose. It can fall out. But they are rendered by his top arms. Um, he is the skinniest forearms figure, I believe. So it goes forward and back. And they bend at the knee joints. Pretty much that's it for his articulation. Now, in the show, he did have a robotic arm right in, in this hand. So, I, I guess they could have did that. Um, we can go over detail now. He has only one gun that comes out, and it rarely fits in either of his hands. I would try to put it in one of his hands, but I don't want to mess the figure up. I will try to. And here I am back again. I tried to, and I had a hard time. So yeah, anyway, he does have the yellow Tantromanian, or however you pronounce it, yellow, whatever his species is, eyes. Um, that's like the stripe, like most of the forearms figures. He's almost taller than this forearms, but forearms is the tallest. Um, he has two guns right here, two right here. Like I said, only this one moves. Um, I'm liking how he looks. He has, like, the same kind of uniform as Helen, Pierce, and, yeah. 
that's all pretty much yeah that's it for his detail i like how his uniform is and his feet are so now we can move on to and here he is omni forearms um he is a little harder to stand up since his legs are smaller than his body um so i just use this tilly putty to stand him up too um when the feet are smaller they do tend to fall off more um he is one of the shorter versions um you can see here that since they make the shorter in scale made the forms i mean the all the omni oh, omniverse toys shorter in scale um forearms did get a little smaller but i think he still is taller than gorvin oh sorry anyway we can go over articulation his head does turn 360 degrees his top arm turns 360 degrees they bend at the elbow joints these bottom arms would move 360 degrees but they are rendered by um the top arms his legs go forward a little and backward a little and bend at the knee joints and pretty much that's it for his articulation um he did get a redesign he has like the um tank top shirt for some reason to me he looks like a biker guy or like german biker guy because of his new mustache look instead of the sh hair stripe whatever um he got like the mustache and the goat little goat tee um he went back to having green eyes his omnitrix symbol is like a hexagon and it's on his belt he went back to having the biker gloves like i said he looks like a biker man a german biker man to me um i like this figure really a lot i really like it like i said it's a little hard to stand up so anyway here is the first half of the poster guys so hope you guys enjoy it's just part of the back um so when you get the other set you can connect them and they make like a, a big giant poster so guys this has been my review of the five pack four arms toys r us exclusive set um hope you guys enjoy subscribe like comment rate and have a great day look forward to more toy reviews and just have a great day guys remember to hit that subscribe button bye guys